studies like these showing that fruits can suppress the growth of cancer in a petri dish are all well and good, but we need to know if they can do the same thing within the human body. But it's considered unethical to withhold conventional cancer therapies, like surgery, chemo, radiation, to test out some fruit or vegetable. So what do you do? Well, one direction researchers have taken is to use combinatorial strategies. Uh, for example, adding phytonutrients from the spiced turmeric or green tea along with chemotherapy to see if that works better than chemo alone. Well, this gets complicated because chemo and radiation often work by killing cancer cells with free radicals. And so antioxidants, so though they may certainly reduce the toxicity of the treatment, there's a theoretical concern at least that it could reduce the efficacy of the treatment as well. Another way you can study the effects of plants on cancer is by testing dietary interventions on slow-growing cancers like prostate cancer, which is how Ornish and colleagues were able to, to show their apparent reversal in cancer growth with a plant-based diet. He could only get away with that because these patients were in an early watch-and-wait stage of cancer. Are there any other cancers like that? Esophageal cancer is not the cancer to get. Five-year survival is only about 13%, with most people dying within the first year of diagnosis. But the development of esophageal cancer is a multi-stage process, though. Right? You start out with a a normal esophagus, the, the tube that connects your mouth to your stomach, it starts out fine. Then precancerous changes take place, and then uh, localized cancer starts to grow, and then eventually it spreads, and then you die. But because of this well-defined stepwise progression of esophageal cancer, researchers jumped on it as a way to test the ability of berries, the healthiest fruits, to reverse the progression of cancer. A randomized phase two clinical trial of powdered strawberries in patients with precancerous lesions of the esophagus. Six months of eating one or two ounces of freeze-dried strawberries. That's like over a pound of fresh strawberries a day. And the progression of disease was reversed in 80% of those in the high-dose strawberry treatment. At the beginning of the study, none had a normal esophagus. They either had mild or moderate precancerous disease. But by the end of the study, after all those strawberries, most lesions either regressed from moderate to mild or disappeared completely. Here's some representative before and after pictures. Give some strawberries, and many went from moderate disease to mild, or from mild to gone. By the end of the study, half of those in the high dose of strawberries walked away disease-free. A drop of tumor markers before and after. Some new chemo drug? No, all because of just strawberries, showing for the first time that dietary strawberries could significantly decrease the grade of patients' precancerous esophageal lesions cellular proliferation before and after treatment with strawberries. Look at that, right? And what's the side effect? Like get a little strawberry seed stuck in your teeth or something? Recent population studies also suggest that plant foods are protective against esophageal cancer, whereas uh, diets with lots of meat and fat uh, appear to double the odds of cancer, and lots of fruits and vegetables may cut one's odds of esophageal cancer in half. A diet rich in foods of animal origin, poor in foods containing vitamins and fiber, in other words, plant foods, may increase esophageal cancer risk. And now we know at least one plant that may even reverse the course of disease if caught early enough. The findings were heralded as groundbreaking in an editorial in the Journal of the American Association for Cancer Research. Given that the editorial was written by a pair of pharmacy professors, though, they of course concluded that the active components and molecular targets responsible for the efficacy of strawberries must be identified. Posing the question, is the best approach to just you know, eat strawberries, or can they make a strawberry-derived drug that works even better?